Hi everybody, this is Melissa with Dolly Pop Productions and I'm here to show you my first, um, for 2015, my first design team project for Tallulah Rouge. And uh, she's got a store and I'm linking everything both in the video and down below because you have, guys have got to visit her shop. If you haven't done it already, you really need to go see her images. They are adorable and I love them. And I love making things with them, and I love to design with them and show you what all you can do with them as well. So, um, this month, try to get ready for, um, you know, Valentine projects and stuff like that. So, um, I am, you know, kind of ran through my brain here. I made a whole bunch of her images, real, real tiny images, and... Um, there's different ones. I am uh, using the Christmas Pop 2014, uh, the Bunny Sweets Sue, and the Garden Mistress. And um, Bunny Suit Sue and the Garden Mistress and Christmas Pop 2014. I just, I love those. And I have them in little miniatures. And I thought, well, I'm going to make them on these puffy little Valentine hearts. So what I did is I took the image, um, took these images. This one right here is the Garden Mistress. And this is the bunny suit, Sue, and this is the, the Christmas pop. And what I did is, I'll, uh, here I'll show you a little bit closer. Um, right here, I took the images, and that's one thing I love about her images, um, digital images. You can make them big, small, whatever really size that you want to. And I started off just coloring them and um I didn't have any Copic markers, so I just used some uh, colored pencils, and um, they didn't show up as well on the uh, book paper that I used. I used book paper here, and I inked the edges with this right here, uh, pickled raspberry, just, you know, Tim Holtz, and I inked the edges with that. And it didn't show up, so I popped it up on just this cardstock that I had as kind of a, a dark maroon color. And I just thought these turned out so cute. And these are stickles right here that I used to make another heart. And what I did is I took two pieces of, of um, storybook paper, you know, from a book. And um, again, I inked the edges. And then I started off, and then I... I glued this image on just with regular glue and I started stitching it around the edges with some of the uh, embroidery floss about halfway and then I stuffed it with just regular polyfill filling and finished stitching it all the way and I just thought these are would be so cute to put in a junk journal um, you know in, inside a little pocket or just like in somebody's little lunch you know just let them know you care about them and just something super cute to send to somebody. They're real, real lightweight, and you can put them in a, you know, put them in little Altoids tin like I have here. I have a little Altoids tin that I did up, and um, it's like a little luggage, a little heart and locket, and, um, you know, keep them in something cute, but I thought these were so cute, and I wanted to share them with you. But again, I'm going to link everything up there. And y'all go to her shop. And don't forget, um, I, I have a code and you can get, um, you know, that will show. Um, you can get uh, percentages off. And the code is, and I'm going to link it up at the top, is Melissa10. And that's Melissa with one S. But again, I'm going to link it up at the top. And um, y'all be sure to use my coupon code couldn't think of the name of coupon code. So um, make sure you use that. And again, I'm going to link that below. It's Melissa10, Melissa, M-E-L-I-S-A-1-0. That's with one S. And um, yeah, y'all go check that out. And um, if y'all have any questions, please let me know. And if not, I will see y'all for my next design team project for Tallulah Rouge, it will be on the 19th. So, anyway, hope y'all enjoy this little project, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.